Is email marketing really something that photographers should be thinking about? I'm gonna be answering this question today and giving you some steps for getting started. I'm Joy, if you're new here, I help photographers like you step into the role of photo boss, which means I help you market yourself, brand yourself, and get paid doing what you love, which is photography. I do that through videos here on my YouTube channel each and every week, so if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any videos. All right, so should photographers care about email marketing? My short and final answer is yes, a big fat yes. And I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why. Reason number one is that an email list is really the only list of audience members that you can build that you truly do own. You know, even here on YouTube, my subscribers over on Instagram, my you know, followers or the people that like my Facebook page are not people that are guaranteed for me to be able to get in touch with. So even though we work so hard to build these other platforms, we're not really in a position of control when it comes to getting in touch with those audience members that we've worked so hard to build, right? But when it comes to an email list, it's a completely different game. You're able to actually hold on to those subscribers on your email list and get in touch with them in a way that you don't have to be at the mercy of any algorithms whatsoever in order to talk to them. The second reason that email marketing is still relevant and is something that you should be considering as a photographer in your business is that consumers are truly bombarded with marketing messages all day long on social media. And so in a way, it has gotten harder for us to market to our ideal clients because they're so used to this barrage of messages of buy this, you should have this, download this, do this. And when it comes to email, you can come right into their inbox in a place where they might be talking to their mom or they might be emailing a friend an invite to the next barbecue and then there is your email. And so it is a much more intimate place and space and it feels a little bit different when it comes to selling inside of an inbox versus you know, shouting on Instagram trying to get attention. Plus we know through research that people check their email every single day and the great thing for us as email marketers is that people very rarely ever change their email address. So if someone signs up with you on your email list, in a few years they are very likely still checking and using that same email address and that means that you're able to keep getting in touch with them. Okay, so you're seeing the benefits of email and you're saying, okay, how do I get started? I wanna give you guys a couple of potential softwares, tools that you would get set up on so that you can email your potential audience and really market yourself as a photographer. The first email software that I recommend, and this is my top recommendation to you, is Flowdesk. And there's a couple reasons for this. Number one, Flowdesk is affordable and the price doesn't go up when your email list gets bigger. This is unlike any platform that I've seen before. Typically, as your list grows, you have to pay more. But with Flowdesk, it's just a one-time price and it doesn't matter how many emails you send or how many people get on your list, you will always pay that set price, which is really, really great and it's super affordable. The other reason that I like Flowdesk is that it is extremely user-friendly. You don't have to code anything or be good at design in order to get beautiful email templates. You can also do automations and deliver freebies and have sequences of emails go out that you may write once and then they go out forever. Now, a couple of other options for you would be a software like ConvertKit, which is a little more expensive. And then again, that does change as your list size changes and MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is a popular starter and I started on MailChimp. And the reason I started on it was it was free for you know lists of under 1,000. But as soon as you wanna do any kind of automation or send you know a significant number of emails, it immediately makes you pay, which is why I recommend that you start on Flowdesk from the get-go. So once you get set up with your email service provider, you'll want to figure out your tactic for how you're going to get your subscribers to first come on and subscribe to you, but also what you're going to send them to keep them engaged and keep them subscribed. And that's what we're gonna be talking about next week in part two of this video. So be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on part two where we dive into the actual how of getting people on an email list and then what you can do with that email list as a photographer. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for part two. Bye guys.